Okay, welcome. On today's review, on Cheesesteak Chance Review, or Ch Cheesesteak Review, here in Southern Maryland, Lexington Park, Maryland, outside of Philadelphia Cheesesteak, I got a cheesesteak, six inch, from a local spot called Jerry and Sons. Now, you hear Jerry and Sons, you may think it's a, a sub place, whatever, but it's not. It's a Chinese food store. But I all see people ordering this cheesesteak at a Chinese food store. All right, you see what it's all about. This thing cost me about seven bucks, about seven bucks for this cheesesteak. All right, <clears throat> see the score again, wrapped, foil. I, I, I don't know why you like doing this outside of Philly, wrapping them full. I guess they don't got the materials, but then again, they charge a boatload for quality of meat that don't, you know, it don't even have the same quality like Philly. All right, I can see it chopped already. Uh, I don't want to bother to cut it in half for me for, but you can see it. All right, it has everything. All right, it has lettuce and tomato in it. In Philly, we'll call this a, a cheesesteak hoagie. This is what you commonly get if you want a cheesesteak hoagie. You get lettuce and tomato in there along with the, the cheese. Um, I think probably use cheese with this, but it's like more like American cheese to me. It's yellow stain, as you can see. Um, again, they're killing me. They're using soft bread. I mean, the texture on the outside shouldn't be soft, it's hard. Now, when I was talking about the hard bread, I was talking about the outside was kind of like hard, but it was still soft when you bit into it, like a baguette, okay? All right, let's dive into it. And as you can see, it's right, it's chopstick. It looked better than American Pizza and Wings, I'll tell you right now, it does. Uh, I want to see why people keep ordering it from there. Man, let's take it. All right, now, common question is, What's the best bite of cheesesteak? Me personally, I don't think the middle is the best bite. I think the end piece is the best bite. So you have all the juice flowing there and all the meat that's flowing in there. All right. Let's take a bite. Here we go. Very good, very good. Very salty. I guess it's why a lot of patients in Philly, when you get cheesesteak, you don't they don't use the yellow yellow American. Like I guess it's yellow American. But what I don't see is Fried green bell peppers. This is tomato. I scored an American piece of wings 5.5. 5, 5, 5. This for outside of Philly cheesesteak. I'm not trying to say Philly cheesesteak. I'm just trying to say outside of Philadelphia cheesesteak. Wariness of a scale of 0 to 10. Again, a scale of 0 to 10. 3 and below, you don't want to go. You know, anything above a, a 3 to like a 7. No, three, no, three to six and a half, you, you, you'll you go eat it. No, it's like once in a while, try. But it's definitely not healthy to eat this cheesesteak every day. You know, it's a steak and cheese sandwich. That's what it is. They don't sell this as a Philly cheesesteak or a cheesesteak. They, they label this as a steak and cheese sandwich, all right? But it's still a cheesesteak. And I give this one. Not because they're Asian. Not because they're Asian. But I'll give it a... I'll give it a 6.3. It's good. I'll, I'll get it again, but every once in a while, I'll get it. But I prefer the real Philly cheesesteak over this any day. But this is way better than American wings and pizza where it tastes like freaking gyro meat. But this has the right, it kind of almost the right meat, but I don't believe they should charge $7 for it. But overall, it, it tastes a lot better. 6.3. Six, 6.3 three for the, uh, that is the review, 6.3.